Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 322. Uh, it's a medium level problem, uh, a problem related to again graph. So the problem name is minimum score of a path between two cities. So the problem statement says that you are given a positive integer n representing n cities numbered from 1 to n. You are also given a 2D array roads where roads of i equals to ai, bi and distance of i which indicates that there is a bi-directional road between cities ai and bi with a distance equal to distance of i. Okay, The cities graph is not necessarily connected. So it means that you can have different connected components. Okay, The score of a path between two cities is defined as the minimum distance of a road in the path. We'll see what, what it is trying to say, okay? Return the minimum possible score of a path between cities 1 to n, okay? Pretty, I would say, complex problem statement, but yeah, we'll look into it. Notice, a path is a sequence of roads between two cities and it is allowed for a path to contain the same road multiple times and you can visit cities 1 to n multiple times along the path. Now, the test cases are generated such that there is at least one path between 1 to n. These are certain examples. Uh, let's directly jump into what the problem is trying to say, okay? So it says that we have an integer n representing the number of cities that we have, okay? So suppose this is, if I take the first example, okay? So this is the first example, 7, 9, this is 5, and this is 6, okay? So it says that you are given <coughs> this graph, okay? Uh, just a second, let me just pick up a razor. Yeah, and now let me pick up this. Yeah, so you are given this graph. Now what you need to do is, you need to find a path from 1 to n. That means from 1 to n, there there will be a uh, path. Okay, now the score of that path is defined as the minimum distance of a road in that path. Okay, that means, so if I travel from, what is, so 1 to n is, that means you need to travel from 1 to 4. Okay, so let's see. What are the possible roads that I have or what are the possible paths? Okay, so one thing is, so from 1, I can directly go to 7, uh, sorry, 4. So in this case, the score will be 7, okay? Not score, but the minimum distance of a road in this path will be 7, okay? What about the other, other paths that I can take? So I can go from 1 to 2, then 2 to 5, right? So in this case, you can see 9 and 5 were the distances in this in this basically path so that means the minimum comes out to be five so in the first case it was seven now it is five let's see what are the other paths so from one i can go to two then i can go to six oh, sorry three then i can again come back to two i can again go back to four so in this case again it will be five only the minimum so that means you can travel any road any number of times obviously traveling it more than once um is is uh, can be needed in some cases but again so it says that you can travel uh, you can visit a city multiple times you can visit a basically what do you call it a road multiple times and then you need to find the minimum distance that you have right so this is what the problem statement says now let's see let's talk about the intuition here okay so just see this was our example right now i i, I want to go from one to four okay I want to go from 1 to 4. So, suppose I go from 1 to some, some node x, then I go to y, then I go to uh, z, then I go to n, something like this. Suppose this is my graph and these are some more nodes. Suppose a, b and these are not connected. This is one connected component, this is another connected component. Suppose this is the case, okay. So, what you will do? We can start, we can first construct the graph, okay? We can construct the graph like this. Now what we can do, we can start from node number 1, okay? And we can simply do a basic DFS. We can start traveling from 1 to X, then this, then this, this. Or I would say, from 1, we visit every node. We visit every node, okay? In this connected component. Now, just see, whatever is the minimum distance right these are the paths these are the paths that are given these are the i would say roads that are given so whatever is the minimum distance that will be my answer right because suppose i want to go from 1 to n okay and the distance this distance is minimum right suppose this is 1 so traditionally what i would do i would go from here to here then here to here then here to here but in this problem i can travel a road multiple times so what i can do first step i can go from here to here then here to here, 
then again i come back to x right and then i go here so that means i travel this road also now once i travel this road this road has the had the minimum distance and that will be my answer right so the crux of the problem is start from one because you need to travel from one to n and in the problem it says that there will be at least one path so and so these two will be in the same component same connected component so what do you do start from one to one do a dfs in all the nodes uh, that you have in that connected component find the minimum distance right now comes the question how do you find the minimum distance because there can be cases that every node is connected like this two to three then you three to two is connected three to one or or something like this okay so in this case actually it is bi-directional only but what i was saying is suppose you have a cycle like this right suppose you have a cycle and you have nodes so to make the cases simple what we can do is for every node while you are constructing the graph for every node also see what is the minimum distance like for example one is connected to two and is connected to three suppose okay so what i'll do while i am constructing the graph i see that what is the minimum distance of a road that is connected to one what is the minimum distance of a road that is connected to two what is the minimum distance of a road that is connected to three? so i while constructing the graph i do it for all the nodes so now what i do when i start my dfs so suppose i go from one to x so what i do at every step step i keep on updating my answer that okay from one to x i have gone now i update my answer my answer will be minimum of whatever answer i have comma whatever is the minimum distance of the roads that are connected to x right now i go from x to y i do the same thing answer will be minimum of answer and the minimum distance that is uh, connected to y and so on right so this is uh, this was the basic intuition and this is how i approach the problem this is one more example again you can see you can you need to go from one to four so you don't go like this you go like this one to two then again come back to one then go in this direction so two will be our, your answer okay let's look into the code so yeah you can see pretty small code this is my main function uh, the first function that I call is construct graph. The second one is I call DFS and the third one I return the answer. First, let's go to construct graph. Okay. So this is my construct graph function. Here what I'll do. So just see I have three things. This is my graph. This is the minimum uh, basically distance of uh, roads that are connected to every uh, node right for every node i keep a track of what is the minimum distance of a road that is connected to the current node and this is just a set for visited okay so that i do not visit the same node multiple times okay so what i do from one to n i i populate that for i this is a list and i also update that for every i the minimum distance right now is integer dot max okay just uh, so that again my my code that i have written here is does not become complex now what i do uh, for all the roads this is road one this is road two this is distance okay so put that into your graph r1 is connected to r2 you do that r2 is connected to r1 you do that now minimum dot put for road one what is the minimum distance it will be math dot min of current distance and distance that is right now present in your map okay similarly for r2 minimum of d that is current distance and the distance already present for r2 in the map okay so this is the construct graph now what you do answer is initialized by max value the second thing that you do is called dfs so just see it's a very very small function what you do uh, whatever node you have you add it into your set now you see what are the neighbors of the current node and then what you do for every node you check okay this is the next road that i need to cover if that road is not covered till now that is if it is not contained in the set so what you do you update your answer answer is mat dot of answer comma minimum dot get road that means the road that i need to travel so what is the minimum distance of roads that are connected to the next road that i'm going to cover okay then call the dfs of that road and then we are done right so this is uh, this is all about the problem now some folks also said that okay let's do a dry run so i can do that uh, because some folks uh, ask for that so let's take this example okay uh, so the example is uh, one three two and then four right so this is four this is two this is seven okay so if i do a dry run so first thing is i construct the graph so here i come 
uh, I hope the construction of graph is clear. So I will not go too much deep. So what I do, I have a graph in which I have one, two, three, and four because I have four nodes, and everything is initialized by an empty list right now, right? And similarly, in this map, I have one, two, three, and four, and everything is initialized by integer dot max value. Now what I do, I basically traverse the roads that I have. Okay. So if I if I go with the raw example that is given, so the example is something like one. Two, two. Then you have one, three, four. Then I have three, four, seven. Okay. So what you will do? If you pick this, so road one is one, road two is two, and this is the distance. Okay. So you update your map. So you go into your graph. You go at one, and this list you add two. Okay, because one and two are connected. Similarly, for two you add one. Okay. Now what you do? You connect one and three. Right. So this is one thing, and the second thing, what you do for road one and road two, also update the distance. So initially everything was for one, two, three, and four. Everything was into dot max, but now for one and two, it will become two. Right. Now you come to the second road. You connect one and three. Okay. So now for one, I will have two and three. For two, I had one and one and three. Right. So for three, I have one. Four is still not connected, okay. And what is the distance? So for one and three, let's see. So for one, min is obviously two, and for three, it comes out to be distance is four, okay. Now three and four are connected. So what you do? In three, you add four as well, and for four, you add three. This is your graph, and then you update seven and three and four. So this will be seven only, and here minimum of four and seven will be four. So yeah. So these are the two things. These are my two maps: two, two, four, seven, and then this is my graph. Now, simple stuff. You start your DFS with one, right? So you come. Uh, what is your graph? Let's let me see. So you come to one, okay? You see what are your neighbors? So you for your set is initially empty. You add one into your set yet on this line, right? Your answer is max value. Now what you do? You see what are your neighbors? So for one, two and three are my neighbors, okay? So what you do? You see. The next road right now is two, and two is not contained in the set. So what you do? You do math dot min of answer that is max value, minimum dot get of road. So what is the minimum of two? Minimum of two is two only. Your answer is updated, right? And you call DFS of two. Then now your set contains two as well on this line. You see what are the neighbors of two? So the neighbor of two is one, right? So when you come here, that is already contained in the set. You won't be doing anything. You go back. And now for one only you traverse two. Now you will go to three. Okay, so you you see what is the min of three? So that will not be updated, uh, and you will call DFS of three. From three you will go to four, and so on. And finally your answer was only updated in the first instance that was two, and finally you return that answer. Yeah, right. So yeah, that's it for the problem. I I hope you learn something new from this video. Do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. In case of any queries, do let me know. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.